Hello friends please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the videos. Thank you for your support. The CX-90 will feature a longitudinal engine layout, an inline 6, and likely a plug-in hybrid option. A spy photographer has shared with us these images of a couple of camouflaged Mazda CX-90 prototypes testing at high elevations in Colorado. Judging by the third row and large dimensions, we're confident the disguised mules are the CX-90 and not the two-row Mazda CX-70. The CX-90 prototypes appear to be plug-in hybrids, which should be an option along with a new inline-six engine. It's no secret that Mazda is almost ready to introduce the CX-90, a new three-row SUV that's destined to supplant the current CX-9. Not only have we heard that the 2023 Mazda CX-90 will go into production by the end of this year, but we also recently spied two camouflaged prototypes testing at high elevations in Colorado. How do we know the disguised mules in the pictures aren't the two-row CX-70 model that has also been confirmed for the US market? Well, it's because if you squint really hard or put your cheaters on you can see that they have a third row. Our spy photographer also pointed out that the camoed SUVs were longer than the published images of the Mazda CX-60, a new two-row model that's only sold overseas. While the CX-60 isn't coming to America, it has Mazda's new longitudinal engine layout that will underpin the CX-70 and CX-90, too. Along with sharing a platform, the CX-60 we drove in Europe featured a plug-in hybrid powertrain that's expected to be available in both US-bound SUVs. Plus, we already know that the CX-70 and CX-90 will have Mazda's new straight-six engine. This CX-90 is probably a plug-in hybrid judging by the separate fuel doors on both sides. The CX-90 prototypes we spied are plug-in models, meaning they probably have a 2.5-liter four-cylinder paired with an electric motor between the engine and 8-speed transmission. A 17.8 kWh battery pack is found on the CX-60. We can't say for sure, but the CX-90 PHEV's combined output should be around 323 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Ready for the CX-90 reveal sure. The camouflaged CX-90s don't really tell us anything we didn't already know, but they do provide our first real-world glimpse of the midsize SUV in motion. Obviously, the camo does a good job of disguising its design details, but we think it'll look like an oversized CX-50, which is a good thing. Now we just have to wait until Mazda reveals the real deal in the coming months.